When your friends at Leggett Auto Group hand you the keys to Canada's first Hummer EV1 launch edition, there's only one feature you start with. WTF activated, let's go. What the f Wow, that's amazing! Let me be clear. WTF stands for Watts to Freedom, not that other abbreviated term you guys thought I said. So there's a lot more to this Hummer EV than just its 1,000 horsepower and 11,500 pound-feet of torque, although those figures are quite impressive. This is an EV at the end of the day, so driving modes and charging and range should be important to you. And that's where I'm going to begin. I'm going to begin with your driving modes because you have a few and you can control those by using this dial located down here. So first, very simple, you have normal. And then you have my mode, which is definitely customizable to your choosing. You have off-road, terrain, and towing mode. And like I said, just use your dial knob here to go through them. Then you have class exclusive mode. And when you use the icons located in the center of your dial, that allows you to switch in between those as well. So on the left hand side, you actually have something called a crab walk. And because you have four wheel steering, you're actually able to drive on a diagonal, just like a crab. It's super cool. You have to keep your eyes locked to my social media channels because I'm gonna be creating some cool content with my friends from Like It, all about that. So then you have extract mode, and this is your most extreme level of off-roading. And remember, you have air suspension, so use the icons located at the top and the bottom, and this will help you to adjust your air suspension on the fly. Then on the right-hand side, this is just a simple icon where an email address pops up on your uh, driver cluster and you as an owner if you have an opinion related to your Hummer EV you can send that information back to GMC who owns the Hummer brand now back to WTF lots to freedom or essentially launch control so this is quite impressive because this vehicle it weighs over 9,000 pounds and so far, it's suggested that you can go from zero to 100 in three seconds, but also you have a driving range of 329 miles. And that's of course 530 kilometers for my Canadian viewers. And I can't stress enough how impressive that really is when you take into account how heavy this vehicle is. As for charging, and here's a fast fact for you, General Motors is using the Hummer EV to introduce their very own Ultium battery pack technology. And why this is cool is because they suggest that it's the largest battery pack in the industry and it comes with some pretty cool charging capabilities. So just like most EVs, the Hummer EV also offers a minimum of three different charging levels. So you have your level one. Level one is you using a traditional three prong outlet and this is gonna take you forever. Then you have your level two. And your level two charging, you can have installed at home. This is also where you'll find your level two in most mall parking lots or grocery stores. And then there's level three, DC fast charging. When you combine your 800 volt battery with 350 kilowatt capabilities found with a DC fast charging station, well, GM suggests you can charge up to 100 miles in 10 minutes. And then let's not forget about braking regeneration. And this essentially is when you lift off the accelerator, your battery will recharge itself slightly. And with the Hummer EV, you have a few different levels of braking regen. You'll find those levels at your convenience located just behind the steering wheel. I highly recommend to test those out when you go out for your test drive. And then how do you know your Hummer EV is charging? And this is cool. So you could always refer to your digital driver cluster or while you're charging, look at your LED light bars up front because as you charge, your LED light bars increase. 
EV title aside, if you're in the market for a truck, then towing capabilities and payload capacity should be important to you. And that said, your Hummer EV is equipped with four massive tow hooks. You have two up front, two in the rear. But remember, use your tow hooks up front to pull you out of a bad situation and use your rear tow hooks to pull a friend out of a bad situation. Of course, use your hitch to pull a trailer. Now, when it comes to your towing capabilities, you're maxed out at 7,500 pounds. And then payload capacity, this includes what you can put inside the box and within the cabin, is topped out at 1,300 pounds. If you're looking to accessorize your Hummer EV box with a cover, you can, but speak to my friends at Leggett because this is definitely optional. So the box isn't the only area where you'll be able to store items. Storage and connectivity is so, so impressive throughout, and I will show you. But your frunk, as the EV community tends to refer to it as, which we refer to it as your front trunk, is so impressively large. And I'm short, I'm five foot three. If I wanted to go camping, technically, I could fit back here and close it and self open it again from inside. That's pretty cool. But also remember your Hummer EV is equipped with air suspension. So it doesn't matter if you wanna load heavier items from the back or up front, lower it down for you and make it easier on yourself. As for the rest of the storage, it keeps getting better. Like I said, storage is impressive throughout, beginning up front, which doesn't matter where you're sitting, each door has enough space for snacks, bottles, food, doesn't matter what it is. And then below your center panel, there's a huge storage space right there too. And also what's really impressive is your center console. It's actually two layers. And then back here, it's nice. You receive pockets behind both front seats and then also more room on the sides of the doors for cups, bottles, snacks, food, doesn't matter what it is. Behind your center panel, you also have a small space there for little snacks. And then this is nice if you wanna hide items. Below the bench, you could definitely hide some items. And on the left-hand side, that's where you'll find your tire mobility kit. And then this is also nice. Behind here, you'll be able to store some secret items too, but these doors do not lock, so FYI. And then of course, when nobody's sitting in the center, you can take advantage of your two traditional cup or bottle holders. I left my second favorite feature for almost last. Check this out because your Multi Pro Power Tailgate is multifunctional. This is awesome. So use the button on the right hand side, soft touch to open, right? Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I'm an ex go karter, but what's up, mom and dad? They're still at the go kart track. So go karts are a bit longer, depending on what category you race in. So if you're traveling with items which are a bit longer, well, then you can put this up. Stops items from rolling out. But that's not all. Put this back up. Use the button on the left hand side. This also opens, right? So now if you have taller items, right? Less chance of flying out or rolling out as well. But I'm not done. So if you're also familiar with my channel, you know I'm only five foot three. So I'm really short. Open it back up again right? Use the other button on the left hand side again. Not done yet because there's a step and that's not all, right? Real short and I like convenience. You have a handle. Step up, grab, pull, done. If you're into convertibles, then you're in luck because your Hummer EV can be converted into one and it's so easy to do. And it starts with these window panels up here. So using these release handles, you'll find two per panel, give them a release. And then depending on if you're sitting inside or if you're outside, you're gonna push or pull up, but be careful because it's easy to do. When you're putting them back on, pay attention to the little icons because it tells you specifically where each panel goes. If you choose to keep the panels off, well, they actually have their own individual cases and then you can store them inside your front trunk or inside your box, whatever you prefer. 
These center bars are also removable, but you'll need some tools to do that and then pay attention to your max view release button as well. And then I like this. So there's a button located on the left hand side, which allows you to put all the side windows down at one time. Very convenient. That's not all. There's also a button located above your rear view mirror. You can use to put that rear window up or down. And then remember I was talking about towing, whether it's wide items, long items, tall items, doesn't matter, because your rear view mirror converts into a wide angle camera. When it comes to overall comfort, convenience, and connectivity, trust me when I say absolutely nobody will complain. And it all starts with your key fob where you'll find your remote starter. And this allows you to preheat or cool your cabin in advance. Just remember your Hummer EV is quiet. And if you leave this feature on, it will drain your battery. And then you have your power buttons for your front trunk hood and for your power tailgate. Super convenient. You'll also find Find additional buttons located up front to open up your front trunk or your tailgate as well. Connectivity is so good. So in front of your front trunk, you'll find a 12 volt port. You'll also find an additional 12 volt port inside your front center console. And then two traditional three prong outlets, which I love, it's my favorite. One back here and then one inside the box. More connectivity, you have different style of USB ports, making it convenient for all and then comfort. So remember, this is an EV1 launch edition, so it's fully loaded. So your front seats, power operated, heated, ventilated, and your steering wheel is also heated. This rear seat, also heated. And of course, you have your own climate zones and you control everything just by using your climate panel so easy to do. Now, when it comes to overall space, remember I said it previously, I'm only five foot three, I'm short, so I never complain about overall space, but trust me, your taller guests will not complain either. It's quite comfortable. A little bit more on uh, convenience, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay standard, and navigation in here, and one of my favorite features, wireless mobile charging. In about a minute, I'll hit the road and provide you with my final impressions. But I left driver assisted technology as last because it's just next level. Everything about this vehicle just gets better and better. First, ABS braking, trash control, and stability control are all standard. And that's pretty standard these days. But then you have Super Cruise. Super Cruise has been out for a couple years, but it provides you with the best autonomous driving technology in the industry. And to activate it, you have to use the buttons on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. And this also provides you with adaptive cruise control too, right? So you can measure the distance of how close or how far you get to the person in front of you. There's frontal collision warning, blind spot monitoring, lane keep assist. You even have lane change assist. It does it all for you. Then you have rear cross traffic alert with pre-braking as well. It's so good and you're probably thinking to yourself, oh yeah, but you know, my car has that too and it doesn't cost upwards of six figures. You don't know until you experience it, but it keeps getting better because it's all about the camera angles. There's 18 different camera angles throughout. And if you decide to off-road your Hummer EV, well then keep in mind, your battery pack is fully underneath and is protected by a skid plate. But there's also cameras located down there and they're self-washing. So if they get dirty, they will clean. That's impressive. Now, how do you put it in the gear? Little bit different. You have to push a button located on the left-hand side here, foot on the brake, jam it into gear, and then let's hit the road. 2022 Hummer EV1 Launch Edition. That's what I'm talking about right there. WTF, Watts to Freedom. Just one of the very many cool features I spoke about today, like when it comes to my final impressions with this vehicle, like, ooh, what can I say, man? You just, you feel like a boss driving. You're so high, you have such a presence. Man, you're definitely the coolest kid on the block, or I should say, 
rolling down the street, right? If you're one of the lucky ones to get this vehicle, man, man, you are lucky. And my friends at Leggett are the only ones and the first ones in Canada to have an EV1 launch edition. I'm the first one to review it. How awesome is that? But you know, there's so many great features about this vehicle that I didn't even touch on, like the turning radius. Did you know that this vehicle has a turning radius better than most compact sedans? Yeah, I mean, the, the simple fact that you have a huge digital touch screen, you know, two of them, that are just next level graphics, the 18 different camera angles, like, man, I can go on and on and on, right? But where do you stop? Like, this just has everything. And then overall comfort for your family or friends. I mean, the connectivity, the armrest, the legs, leg space, right? Head space. Everything's conveniently placed and it just feels so good. It feels like a solid vehicle. Man, I love it. Absolutely love it. And this Super Cruise, I know it's been out for a while, but it always gets better. I mean, can you even get better than better? <laughs> better than the best? You know what I mean, right? But what I like to do in all my videos is recommend a test drive. But in this case, you have to fit, you have to visit my friends at Leggett. And at the very least, you have to go for a viewing because it's so amazing, man. So awesome. But for now, guys, make sure you look down in the description because I provide more information down there. And of course, make sure you're subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss how to Tuesdays or Feature Car Friday. Thanks for watching, guys.